so this first run it's a uh, what are you doing ginger it's a master brand it's a uh, what is it 24 inch 5 to 1 gear ratio this is the one I used a lot last year come on ginger it's my dog just trying to find a spot to lay down all right, she's laid down. But yeah, I use this a lot. It works well for uh, bass, bluegill, perch. These next rods are HTs. Uh, they're called Ackercast. So, you know, that's cool. I think one's a 24 inch right here. This is a 24 inch 5 2 to 1 gear ratio. And then this one is a little bit longer. It's 26 inch 5 5 to 1. 5 5 to 1. So yeah, they're nice little smooth rods. I got all these rods pretty cheap on sale at Walmart which is fine with me so if you have any questions on whether or not they work good just let me know in the comments I'll be fishing with them most of the winter alright so this next one is a heat wave it's 5 2 to 1 gear ratio 24 inch rod nice and smooth one thing I don't like about it though is it's kinda held on by the just these two rubber bands here so that's the heat wave rod. Next one my favorite it is the infrared. It's a 24 inch rod, 5 to 1 gear ratio. It's really smooth. Has a nice handle. It's probably the higher end ones we got at Walmart. So we'll see how this one works this year. I like it a lot so far. Another HT, I guess Walmart lights their HT brand. So this is the Neon Ice Extreme brand. It has almost no give to it whatsoever. It's a 26 inch. And it's a 5-5 five, five to 1 gear ratio. So this is going to be for pulling out the big hogs, I guess. If you're fishing for big walleye, big bass. So the rod, rod is a Freyville. What's it say? Freyville Furnace, it says, I guess. It's a 24-inch light, 5-2 five, five, to 1 gear ratio rod. Just a nice little Freyville rod. HT Ice Blue, 24-inch, 5-2 to 1 gear ratio rod and rail. Probably going to be definitely my bluegill panfish kind of rod because it's got a sensitive tip up top, bends pretty easy, has a nice backbone to it. So, yeah, this is a good rod in my opinion. Last but not least, I got the dog bone. It's a nice little tip up by Freybill. So, you can go drill the hole if you don't know how these work. Set it on top, put the. It works, yeah, it's kind of tied up right now. You're going to put the spool in the water, flag up, flag down, as soon as the fish takes it, pulls up. That's how this one works. This one works the same way. It's an HTC Husky tip up for bigger fish. Same concept. So what I'm going to try this here is a, a treble hook. Put that to the side of a minnow and just put those out in the lake, try to catch some musky for a walleye, bass, anything that'll bite it. Catfish. I'm talking to you about my Vexler and then some of the fishing tackle I use. It's not all my fishing tackle. I'm still hoping to get some more, trying out some new lures and all that kind of stuff for this year. Uh, I normally tip my lures with wax worms, so that's that. Also, a plug for another video of mine. If you want to know how to get into the ice without an ice auger, I'll link that video up in the description, down in the description, or up in the card. So just click on that when it pops up. So this is just a little look at my uh, ice fishing tackle box. So right there, we got some bobbers, some lead weights, single hooks, little eye jigs, some Swedish pimple kind of jigs, some spoons, some more little spoons. These I use a lot uh, with wax tail worms, catch a lot of bluegill on these. And then some more little jigs. We have hooks. These wax worms came with a bunch of these right here. We got those at Walmart. And then we got this light just to blow up the jigs down there. Make that glow. Alright, last but not least, I got my nice little Vexler I picked up. It's a FL8. Works pretty good. Alright, thanks for watching today guys, hope you enjoyed, if you learned anything, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, comment if you have any questions, thanks for watching guys.